Hey. What's going on, Hot Rod? How's it going? What do you got on your shirt? Big trout. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. We got a very special episode for you guys today. We are with Tony from Wisconsin Anglers. How are we doing? You guys have seen me fish with him in the past. If you guys watched Tidewee's videos, I don't think you've been on my channel yet, no, have you? No, I don't think I have. We are actually out on Green Bay today. Yes, we finally have enough ice down here in Green Bay, Wisconsin to get on some ice. So I'm super stoked, super excited. So we're going after some mighty, mighty perch today. Seven stripers, six stripers, whatever we can get topside. And we're gonna cook them up for you guys today. So I know I've really been rocking out the catch and cooks this ice season so far. So we're doing another one today. Wish us luck. If you guys are new here, please be sure to go down, hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this in the future. And if you are returning, Welcome back. Let's get some holes punched, the live scope put down, and let's go catch some fish. Uh, oh, there you yeah. ate it. You yeah, ate it. Yep. Yeah. Good one? Yeah, it feels nice. Oh, you're kidding. What? That tiny little thing? This is what took forever to hit. Congratulations to me. It is now 1151. <sighs> and we have one perch that isn't even big enough to move forward with this catch and cook. So that guy's gonna get tossed back. We were kind of in a very, very big lull. Tony caught some fish before, so if you wanna check out his video, you can head on over to Wisconsin Anglers and catch his two fish that he caught. But I'm gonna get another minnow put on this dead stick. That perch did hit this dead stick rod and uh, hopefully catch some bigger ones. We are in Green Bay, Wisconsin. The Bay of Green. Oh my God, he's gonna nail you. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? I don't know. Dude, it's huge. Dude, there's two there now. Oh my god. Got I, got, I got whatever that is. What is it? Pike? I don't know. Feels good? What is it? Pike? It's a white fish. No way. A giant white fish, dude. Is it? It is a freaking magnum. <laughs> yes! This drag is set so light right now. You need help or you got him? I think I got him. Oh my god, that's a giant big. wet white fish, dude. White fish catch and cook? Oh, we're doing it. Dude, look at this thing. Smoked my my jig in plastic. So I don't know. I've never ate white fish, actually. I've caught them all the time. Tony says they're great. So I think what we're gonna do today, since we're, we, the perch fishing isn't like so hot and heavy right now, we're gonna do a little white fish catch and cook. So I'm gonna throw this guy on the ice. We'll put him along with any perch we catch, and we can do like a little comparison too. We're gonna keep fishing. It's about one o'clock. Little midday update for you guys. It's been tough. It's been an absolute grind this morning. The fish are here, but a lot of them just aren't eating. So we're really working on kind of finessing those fish right now, trying to make them bite, but they're being really, really finicky. So we're doing the best we can. Catching white fish on the side. So nice fish. Oh, he's gonna smoke you. Yep, whitey. Yes. It's probably another white yes. Yes. White fish bite is on fire, bro. We're gonna be eating good today. <laughs> <laughs> white fish catch and cook? Oh, this is a little small guy. Yeah. Still an eater. Get up here. Yes. Nice job, bro. <sighs> they are really enjoying the jigging plastic. That's probably why you're not getting hit. Oh, there's a fish on the minnow. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Dude, your rod was almost in the hole. Got him. Yeah? Another yeah. Oh, it's a big perch, dude. Yes. Yes. Big perch. See? Dude, yes, the, the dude. Current, the current. Dude. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what just happened right there. I can't even rig up. <laughs> Classic Cody. I was uh, getting him a tungsten jig because he doesn't have his own. There's another fish down there. Here we go. Got him. No way. Got him. Feels like another nice one. Yup. Another decent perch. Yes. Look at that. Wow, you're putting out a clinic now. I'm using a hog pores one inch minnow plastic. I'm using the white one. Normally you guys see me using the pink one, but today I tossed on that white one just because of the water color. That is the color that I'm going with. It's a little hard to see with the light there, but it's more of an emerald white type of color. I'm gonna go ahead, just drop this back down there just in case something else does come in. I'm gonna show you guys these fish. Look. There she goes. <laughs> Here's the Little white fish that I caught. Obviously, you guys saw that first one that I caught was much bigger than this one. These two perch decided to do it dirty. So those are gonna go good in the grease. We're doing a perch catching cook. It was kind of the goal today. So this is gonna help with that. We're also gonna fry up those white fish, put them aside the perch and see which ones taste better. So perch, white fish, I don't care. We're on them. Let's keep fishing. 
All right, well, I just want to give you guys a midday update because I feel like today has been a pain in the ass. And I'm legit not even joking when I say that. It has been an absolute grind. We've been sitting in the shack all morning, basically just waiting for fish to come through. Obviously, you know when you're perch fishing, they move around a lot. So you don't necessarily want to sit in one spot, but out here there's so many people around, so it kind of makes it tough to hole hop. We're just sitting here basically waiting for schools of fish to come through, and that's what's been happening. But we had a little decent bite window this morning, and then everything kind of disappeared for, I want to say, a good two or three hours and we were kind of getting discouraged there was really no current anymore and we were kind of worried that maybe the fishing was going to completely shut down and then a little front came through current picked up around one o'clock white fish started strolling through and now the perch are starting to stroll through as well so it's about 1 145 something like that and we're gonna we're just gonna rough it out the rest of the day and see what we can get so two nice perch on the ice right now and two nice white fish that we're gonna cook up so far so hopefully we can get a few more Good perch job. to fish finish this catch and cook tony said he's hooked up right now let's see what he's got still your dead stick sorry oh look there's at like that. five of them that were racing all over the place really so that minnow was still on there huh yep she's still on here that one's a little small to keep though huh yeah <laughs> A little small. There's definitely small ones mixed in here, but we're kind of doing our best to make sure that we're keeping the bigger ones. Obviously, anything nine, eight and a half, nine inches is kind of what we're keeping for this catch and cook right now. Most of the smaller fish that we're getting are for sure, for sure going back into the water. So I'm excited to see what tonight's going to bring. Hopefully, it brings a lot of good luck and a lot of tiger striped fish. So let's keep fishing. Mark's on live scope. And uh, yeah, we've seen a couple northerns. Oh, I got a fish on me right now. He hit it. One second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's a good one. Freaking jumbo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at that. That's a nice fish. That's probably bigger than the first two I caught, actually. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I was actually on the phone when I caught this one, but just another dandy. It's a good 10, 11 inch perch there. Just a little fat mama. So that's what we're getting. Just caught three of these now pretty much all the same size in that 10 11 inch range they're really starting to hit so like i said we got that little bit of current coming in i'll throw him over by the others that little bit of current coming in and it seems to be kind of waking these fish up a little bit because they were dead for quite a while a few moments later well it is currently time check 236 and we are hungry so we are gonna go ahead make some fish tony is hooked up oh good one hey well let's hey. add that one to the catching coach that's shall we? a perfect one for the frying pan i'm gonna start cleaning some fish i'm gonna clean these white fish up first and then i'm gonna clean up a few perch too as well and we're gonna lay these suckers side by side and see which one tastes better now tony's telling me white fish tastes pretty good i've actually never like I've caught whitefish, I've had whitefish in a restaurant, but I've never caught whitefish, cleaned it, and made my own whitefish. So this this will be interesting. We got some catch and cook along from Jay Siemens. This is the spicy stuff. What's it called? Spicy Picant yep. from Jay Siemens up in Canada. So we're going to give that a go today. I've never had it, never tried it. This is going to be my first time. I've seen it on a couple YouTube videos already. I'm excited to try this stuff. I want to see if the hype is real. We're going to see how it tastes on some whitefish as well today. So let's go ahead start cleaning these fish up i got a nice knife that i'm going to use to clean these suckers up then we're going to start cooking so stay tuned 12 seconds later i just finished cleaning up a nice little pile of fish as you guys can tell we got some white fish we got some perch cleaned up here we're going to do a little side by side comparison tony's going to get his buddy flex heater all set up he's got the little cooker with it so we're going to get that all set up get some oil rolling get these fish battered and throw them in some oil so we still got fish coming in and out of the screen so we might even catch some fish while we're cooking so stay tuned get my hands This is what we're using today. This is the spicy catch and cook. It's actually spicy piquant. There's three different types of catch and cook that Jay Siemens has. And this is probably going to be my favorite one. I do like spicy foods. I believe there is a beer battered one. Yep. And then there's also a crunchy one too as well. I'm definitely going to have to give that one a try. But thank God Tony brought this stuff along today because I've seen it on quite a few YouTube channels now and I've definitely been itching to try it. So we're going to give the flame stuff a go today. All you guys got to do if you're going to be doing a catch and cook is grab yourself a little Ziploc bag. Obviously, there's some breading in there. I'm going to add a little bit more because we got quite a few fish on this plate. But all I'm going to do is sprinkle some of that into the bag here. So here's those fillets that I cut up a couple minutes ago. Obviously, the bigger pieces, like this is a white fish here. There's a little piece of perch. Throw that in the bag. Once you get them in the bag, close that sucker up and really give this thing a good shake. 
and that's all there is to it. Now these fish are gonna be breaded, ready to throw in the grease. Probably only takes ah, not even five minutes to cook these things in some hot oil, and they'll be ready to go. Nice and greasy, nice and hot and spicy. So here is a piece of white fish. We're gonna go ahead, toss it in that hot oil there. She's sizzling already. Put a piece in there, we'll just fill this pan up with some fish, and within a couple minutes, we'll have some nice catch and cook to sit back, relax, and munch on. It is time. So I got a piece of perch right here, and I've got a piece of white fish right here. Hopefully there's no bones in it. I tried to get most of the bones out, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give that perch a try right away with that spicy catch and cook, see what it tastes like. It's warm, temperature warm. <laughs> that is actually really good, super great. It makes it even better that it's really cold outside, but at the end there, <laughs> you get a little bit of kick from that spice. That's really good. I actually like that quite a bit. It's not like greasy, it's not mushy or anything like that. It gets a nice hard crunch to it on the outside, which I do like on fish breadings. I don't like it when they're like super mushy or anything like that, but having that little bit of added spice at the end when you're swallowing that fish is absolutely great. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this white fish a try now. I have not had freshly deep fried white fish like this ever. I've had it in restaurants on tacos and stuff, but I've never actually had it like this. So let's go ahead and give this a go. That's a different texture. It's more flaky. I would say this is almost similar to like a salmon, just it's a white meat, not a pink meat. I would say the muscle structure and the flakiness of the fish itself is very similar to salmon. Not fishy at all, spicy, but really, really good. I'm glad we tried that. That's actually really good. All right, well, we are gonna call it a day. As you can tell, starting to get dark out. It's starting to get foggy, a little bit eerie. The wind died down completely and people are really starting to get off of the lake. So I believe it's four, pretty close to 4.30 now. We got a lot of stuff to pack up and we've got a little bit of a walk back to the trucks. So we wanna make sure that we get everything packed up in the light. We don't have headlamps or nothing. So we don't wanna be doing any of that in the dark. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is like my first actual perch fishing video that we did this year and it was a catch and cook. So highly, highly recommend trying the catch and cook breading from Jay Siemens. If you guys have probably already seen it on a bunch of people's channels already, that stuff is actually really good. All we had today was the spicy stuff, but I would imagine that the crunchy and the beer battered is just as good as the spicy stuff is. So if you're into spicy things, definitely give that catch and cook stuff a try. It's really good. You're going to enjoy it. We had it on white fish and perch today and it was phenomenal. Anyways, if you guys did like today's video, please be sure go down, give this video a big thumbs up, smash that subscribe button for me so you guys can stay up to date with a lot of the content that I'm gonna be posting here in the next couple weeks. I got a nice big trip planned, not next week, but the following week that you guys are absolutely gonna love. Not telling you guys exactly where it's gonna be yet. I want it to be a surprise. Look forward to those videos. Like I said, if you're not already subscribed, definitely go down, do that so you can stay up to date to those videos. Otherwise, we are gonna get everything packed up here, walk back to the trucks and head it home. So once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. As always, keep living your dream and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.